Hello, it's Polly again. Let's take a look in my pockets today. We're going to find our sight words a little differently today. Let's look in our pink pocket and let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. It's a little yellow box. It looks like a cube. Let me turn it around and I want you to read the word for me. I, very good boys and girls. Let's take a look down here in this pocket. Oh, look. I see something that looks like a rectangular prism and it's green. Let's turn it around this way. And what is the word, boys and girls? C. Very good. And let's take a look in our last pocket. I think I have one in my yellow pocket. Oh, look, it's another red box this time. It looks like a cube. Let's turn it around and you go ahead and read. A. Very good, boys and girls. We are going to be using all of these sight words again one more time. Let's do them together. Here we go. And I see A. Perfect, perfect. Now, boys and girls, how do we start our sentence and how do we say go? Green with our capital letter at the beginning. Very good. And how do we not smush our words together? We use our finger spaces. Very good. And how do we check our finger spaces? With our yellow. Very good. And how do we say stop at the end of the sentence? We use our red for our period and make punctuation. Okay, boys and girls, now go enjoy doing your sentence for today. I think my unicorn is here to take me back to England. Wow, look at that. Hey, guys, um, Zach, and I'm back, and I really like that tree. Uh, did you do that with Jackson, uh, Mrs. Schmidt? I sure did. We did I See a Tree yesterday. I See a Tree. Oh, that looks really good. Well, we're going to do a, a, a new page. Yep, let's make a new page right here. So the boys and girls can go ahead and flip up their journals. And we've got room up here for a picture and we have some room down here for our writing. So today we have some blocks over here. So Zach, will you help us as we read our blocks? Yep. What's this say? I. Okay, let's take a look at this one. C. A. Maybe you could move them over like, pretend like those finger spaces. All right, so I could do like, I could do it like that. Like there's finger spaces in between our words. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, so boys, boys and girls, we actually had two pictures that we didn't use. Zach, let's, let's show you what they were. We still had this choice. We hadn't done a, this one yet. What does that say? A pig. That's right. And then we also didn't do this with, oh, bug, like ladybug. Yep, but we just we just used bug, B-U-G. So we can do I see a pig today, or we can do I see a bug. Which one do you want to do, Zach? It's our last one of the week. I love the way the ladybug looks so well. Let's do bug. I like bugs a lot. They crawl up the grass. All right, so let's go ahead and put the pig up here. And we're going to use these right here. We need our green for what? What well, capital? Yep. And then we need yellow for bigger spaces. Yep. And we need our red period. That's right. Good job, Zach. You have been listening. All right, so let's start with the first word, which is what, Zach? I. Capital I. Uppercase. Yep, we, sometimes we call it capital, sometimes we call it uppercase. Boys and girls, remember you start all the way over here on the left. Don't start in the middle, don't start over here, all the way over here when we do our sentences. And then, what color do we want to make that, Zach? Uh, we make it green for go. Like go, at, like, at a, like a stoplight when you go after the red. <laughs> we, we know, Zach, okay. So we're going to trace over this capital I or this uppercase I with our green and if I'm going too fast again you guys know that you can pause the video and you can catch up with me all right what's going to be next Zach well we're going to do C but uh, we had to do a figure space first yep every single time that we're going to do a new word we have to do that finger space right there first so 
Zach said we're going to do C. So let's go ahead and put C in here. You guys are probably getting pretty good at spelling C. So go ahead and put C in there. If you need a little extra practice with that S, you could always do it on your whiteboards first and practice before you put it on your writing page. And then what comes next, Zach? Uh, well, we're going to do A. This one? Yeah, but uh, this thing right here, what do we need? A finger space. One more finger space. Okay, so let's do a finger space right in here. And then we'll do this word, which is what? A. Do a circle. And our little tail right there. We have an A. And then, uh, are we done? No, we need, we need to put a, the, the word bug. I see a bug. Right now, you just have I see A. Okay, so we need to add this word right here, bug. Okay, and we're going to put it right here. So just should I just put it right here? No, Mrs. Smith, you need, you need a finger space. It's a new word. You can't smush them together. Oh, that's right. We cannot smush them together. I need to remember that. Okay, so if I'm going to put my finger right here, I need to remember that because I just finished that word. Now I'm going to copy this word right here, bug. So what's first? B. So I'm going to do a line and a belly going this way, right by the bumpy road. And then we're going to do our U underneath the bumpy road because it's a lowercase U. And then our G. Oh, I get to go underneath the grass with our G because we're going to go, our tail is going to go underneath. It's going a little bit into the sky of this next line, but that's okay because we don't have any more words. Okay, there we go. I see a bug. I see a bug. Okay, now put down the black and pick up the yellow, and let's uh, let's make sure that we have our finger spaces. Do you want to do those yellow, Mrs. Schmidt? Yep, we'll do them yellow. Okay, okay, right there. I uh, finger space right there. Yep, we have a finger space here. Good job. That tells me I did a good job. I see finger space. Yep, I see. We have to have finger spaces between all of our words, otherwise they're smushed. Uh. uh I see a finger space. Yep, finger space. I said I see a finger space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I finger space. C finger space. A finger space. What's the last word? Bug. Now, when we read it, do we say finger space? No, you don't say it. You just know it's there. Okay, let's try that one more time. But should we add something to the end? Oh yeah, punctuation. A red period for stop. Yep, a red period for stop. All right, so let's go ahead and make it with our pencils first. Everybody add your period. Put that punctuation at the end. And then we will add our red to make sure that we have our stop. We have our go, which is green. We have our red, which is stop. And then, of course, we have finger spaces in the middle of every single one. Plus, it's very neat writing. Yep, my writing is very neat. So, boys and girls, check to see if your writing is neat. And then, also, you, uh, you, you have to make sure it makes sense. Yeah, we have to make sure that it makes sense. So, we have, I see a bug. Does that make sense, Zach? Yeah, it makes sense. I see a bug. It makes sense. I see a ladybug right there. Yep, I see a bug. It makes sense. Okay, now it's time to draw a picture. All right, so let's move our blocks over here. Okay, and we're going to do this little ladybug right here. And I am actually going to start with my pencil first, okay, on this one. And I'm just going to copy it. So it looks like my ladybug is kind of like an oval which is a little bit like a circle, but just a little bit longer, okay? And then our ladybug has a little line through the middle. And there goes the lights again. Why does that keep happening? Ah, uh, you know, it happens when we, when we don't move around. And then we're gonna do our little legs, copying what we see on there, okay? Little antennas over here. And then we have our spots on there. So first I'm going to color this in red. Oh yeah, ladybugs are red. I like the way that looks. Okay, and then after I get all of this colored in red, then I am going to add my black polka dots 
or my black circles, or I could call them spots, my black spots on my ladybug. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now let me get my black crayon and I am just gonna go over, the trace over my pencil. And I am going to add one extra leg in there and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger. Oh, I like the big polka dots because ladybugs do have big ones. Yeah, so I'm gonna just make these a little bit bigger like this, a little bit bigger than I made my apples on my tree the other day, okay? I'm gonna do a half one right there and a half one right there. Okay, all right. What do you guys think? It looks pretty good? Yeah, you, you boys and girls could add like grass and stuff if they want to. Yep. The boys and girls could add anything that they want. If you noticed on my other picture, I actually added some birds. So if I was going to do a grassy hill, maybe I could start nice and high. It kind of looks like our ladybug's crawling up. See how I did it nice and high, and then I came low on this side. So it kind of looks like our ladybug's going up to the top of a hill. And then if you noticed on the last picture I did, I did like some little birdies in the sky. I just did like this. So it kind of looks a little bit like an M or an upside down W. Oh, that's a really fast way to make a, a, a birds. Yeah, so those are in my sky. And you know, I could always add some clouds or anything that I want, but this looks beautiful. Okay, boys and girls, you do a good job drawing your ladybug. Okay, have a good day.